And if you happen to have a cute, like, pink sparkly calculator, you can go ahead and bring that out of your bag. <laughs> She's so prepared. You're just a big show off. Why we love you. All right, so bring your um, calculators out. Everybody have a calculator or anybody that has a calculator? Great. Okay, so what we're going to do is, how many of you knew that today was payday? Yay! I got my Saturday, Sunday one. So your show. Yay! All right, so some of you are like, eh, it's payday. It's all right. How many of you would have loved to make more money today? Mm. All right, okay, everyone, can I put my feet up too? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what we want to talk about. I want you to imagine today, payday, logging into okay. your bank account, looking at that computer screen to see that big fat deposit check being made, and it being it having a couple extra zeros on the end of it. Um, and to start out by thinking about having a bigger paycheck, one of the things we can do is to say, okay, based on where I was at, what next level could I have gotten to? So we're going to pretend that whatever your sales were, you made it to the next level. Okay. So let's say you're a brand new consultant. You came in last month and you had one, you held one party and your sales were $800 in sales. Okay. So you didn't quite make it to the first level of bonus where when we have $1,200 in sales, we can get a 5% bonus. So I want you to, to get a pen and paper out and figure out how much more money you would have made if when you look at your personal sales, you would have made it to the next level. So if your personal sales were $1,500, what if you would have made it to $3,200? How much more money would you have made? And figure that out. So remember, at $1,200 in sales, you get a 5% bonus. That means you're making 30%. Every time you go to a party and you sell a piece of Tupperware and you make sure that you have over $1,200 or more in sales, you just make 30% off of what you just bought. 25% of what you normally make plus your 5% bonus that you're going to make at the end of the month. I know we get paid at different times, but it's important for us to remember how much money we're making, how much money we're gonna make every time we go hold a Tupperware party, every time we sell a piece of Tupperware to somebody. All right, what if the next time I make sure my personal sales were over $3,200 in sales? That means every time I sell a piece of Tupperware, how much money am I making? How much, what's the percentage? Same. 35%, 25% normally, Plus, I'm going to get an extra 10% bonus. That means that when I sell this piece of Tupperware, when I sell $100 worth of Tupperware, I just made $35. It's pretty good, right? So Not bad. I mean, imagine an average party, $500 in sales, you're making 35% because you're going to make sure you're over your um, 10%. So Matt, figure out what your paycheck would have been. You had $3,200 in sales. Now, what I want you to do is think about if you were not a manager, imagine if you were a manager. And as a manager, the way that you calculate the bonus that you receive, this is our second stream of income. So first stream of income, personal sales, we can get 25%, 30% or 35%. Second stream of income, we move into royalties. We call it royalties manager, team leader. Those are all the words that we use in Tupperware that we probably expect y'all to know what we're talking about. <laughs> but we're talking about making more money. That's what's important. We're talking about sharing with other people what we do with our business helping them and receiving a percentage of our team sales as a bonus for um, being able to offer that service to our team. So that means that you've shared the opportunity, you now have a team, and you're making a percentage off of your team sales. So the way it works is you can make um, a percentage of your team sales as a bonus each month, and it, the percentage is based off of the number of personal qualified recruits that you had that month. And it can range anywhere from if you didn't have any you would still get paid 4% all the way up at the manager level. If you had three, you maximize your income at 8%. So you can have anywhere from 4% to 8% of your team sales that month. So let's say that month you had $2,000 in sales and you had three other people on your team and they each had $1,000 in sales. That's $5,000. And in team sales that you're going to receive a percentage off of, you decide, is it going to be 4%, 6%, 7%, or 8%. So you're going to maximize by having three personal recruits that month, you're going to maximize by getting 8%. That's just extra money that Tupperware is willing to give you by reaching that sales goal for your team. So that's, again, write down that number. Where would you like to fall in between there? Would you like to be making that 8%? What's 8% of $5,000? $400. Um, so that's, that's a lot of extra money that you could be making. 
Um, the second thing to think about is once you become a manager is, and you start to build a team, the next goal you really want to think about is getting that extra cash money each month as part of, part of our Dream Drivers Program. Um, and I'm telling you, that Dream Drivers Program, that is the best thing the Tupperware has ever put together. Being able to drive a car for free, you start out in the cash and then you work your way into car, um, and they pay your insurance and everything. It's, it's great. I mean, what a great luxury to have as, a, as an extra benefit. So when you first get into the Dream Drivers Program, your team sales need to be $7,000. That's you and everybody else on your team, $7,000. So take your calculators right now, $7,000, average party, let's say it's $500. How many parties need to be held in my team that month? 14. 14 team parties. Okay, so take 14 and then I want you to subtract how many parties could you commit to that? How many parties would you personally say, you know what, out of those 14, I'll take eight of those. I could take eight, seven, six, 14, whatever it is, what's your number? And then look at what's left and, and tell me, do you, can you find people to hold that many number of parties each month? I mean, what might be left, Six, 16 parties? That's six people holding one party. That's three people holding two parties for the whole month. We're not talking about every single week, we're talking about for the whole month. So very quickly you can add your team sales to just, what are we doing? We're just building our team. So very quickly, you can add people to your team to where your team sells now, $7,000 in team sales. When you do that for two months in a row, the very next month and every month after that, that your team sales are $7,000, above and beyond the personal sales bonus, the team sales bonus, they're gonna give you at $350 extra as part of the Dream Drivers Program. Okay, who wants $350 extra? How much money do you need in team sales? $7,000. $7,000. Jennifer, is that nice to get? Was that nice today when you opened up your checking account and you're like, cha Because <laughs> she's earning that $350 extra cash above and beyond. Uh, everything else that Tupperware is going to give you. So write down $350 because that is that is the goal that you're going to be working for. Everyone needs to be at least at getting that drink driver's cash. It's just we, we need to make Tupperware hurt a little, right? It's like, man, we're paying Bravo $350. Everyone there is making it. All right, so now add all that money up. Add up your, what your personal sales, um, did you make 25%, did you make 35%? Add up what, um, what that would be, add up your team sales, and then add in your 350. Take that total and subtract it from what you made today, what was deposited in your account today, and how much extra is that? Is that something that you're willing to work for, that, that extra money? It doesn't take a whole lot of extra time. It's just really maximizing your income. You never ever want to get to the end of the month and say, well, my, you know, my personal sales were $3,000, $3,100. No, because Tupperware is going to give you a 10% bonus. I mean, it's just numbers. You got to be, we got to be good business people. If you're not really good with numbers, find somebody that is and say, hey, can you go through this with me? It's the end of the month. I want to make sure I'm not missing, a, I'm not missing something here. Um, and sometimes this is like you have to hear it a couple times. I can remember many, many times me telling a consultant, no, you don't understand. I know you have to spend $100 today, but in two weeks when you get paid, they're going to give you $300. And you have $100 worth of Tupperware that you can turn around and sell. So, you know, like it's, and so and I think that sometimes we hear, oh, you're wanting me to buy Tupperware. It's not about the buying of Tupperware. That's not the whole point. It's about being a smart business person and saying, I can invest in my business today and get that money back in two weeks threefold. I mean, it's going it, to, sometimes it's, it's that simple. And really, when you think about, let's say you had $3,200 in, in personal sales. I'm sorry, $3,100 in personal sales. Um, so you were $100 away from getting a 10% bonus. You're $100 in retail sales away. Imagine if you just sampled that last part. Well, that's only $65 that you pay to get then $320. Does that make sense? So don't get too wrapped up in the, oh my gosh, I, can't, I don't need any more Tupperware in my yeah. house or anything like that. It's not about the Tupperware. It's not about buying Tupperware. No one is ever going to stand up here and tell you you need to stock Tupperware, you need to buy Tupperware. That's the only way you're going to be successful. That's just, that's just a means to get to being that 
um, being business smart and saying, I want that extra money. Because we want, when we see that big deposit on payday next month, we want a big payday, right? we got shopping to do for Christmas. So. so hopefully this helps you make sure that when we close this month out in two weeks, when we're looking at our goals, that um, we don't miss a level and that we're all really aware of making sure that we maximize our income, that we make the most that we can. If you're not familiar with the different numbers, this looks really overwhelming. It looks like a whole bunch of numbers. All you have to worry about is the first three or four lines. But this gives you all the percentages. It gives you everything that you need to know. Um, this is called the compensation chart. Even if you just log on to Tupperware and you put in the search button, the search box at the top, compensation, this will come up. It's under the My Business tab, but just, just search it and you'll find it. Have one of these handy. I save this to my computer so I can pull it up and then I can you know, help new team members or email to them or something like that. So it's a file you want to have um, accessible all the time. So helpful? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right. Well, I hope you guys make lots of money.